أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف المرسلين سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه ومن تبعهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين Brothers and sisters الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, wa lillahi alhamd, alhamdulillah. Allah blessed our brothers and sisters who already performed hajj. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept it from everyone, but show Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala your humbleness. We don't know. Many people will say, labbaik Allahumma labbaik, but there is a caller will say, no labbaik, no sa'day, your hajj been rejected. Na'udhu billah. Brother, don't ever show off. Don't ever show the pride. Don't ever, all the time, show that, Ya Allah, please accept my hajj. You remember when ulama said that the Sahaba, after Ramadan, they spent six months to ask Allah to accept their amal in Ramadan. Now you need to ask Allah to accept your hajj up to your death. Every day, ask Allah sincerely to accept your hajj and don't ever show that, yes, I did the best. Don't show that or count that it is a favor that you have done hajj. Don't ever. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said that Aneen al-Muznibin Ibn al-Qayyim he said that he said Allah said Aneen al-Muznibin ahabba ilayna min tasbih al-Murain Look the griefing crying the tears the regret of those who commit the sin who repent to Allah and feel the regret is much better to Allah than those who are doing lots of tasbih, lots of ibadah, out of show off. In another say also he said, Ibn al-Khayyim, ذنب تذل به إلينا أحب إلينا من طاعة تمن بها وترائي بها. If you commit a sin, and this give you the regret and you repent to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with the sincerity and you feel the pain in your heart and you feel the humbleness, the humiliation you come to Allah with a broken heart is much beloved to Allah than someone who offer ibadah, obedience but he count it as a favor or he show off I did this. Sufyan Thawri. He said that لأن أبيت نائما وأصبح نادما أحب إلي من أن أبيت قائما وأصبح معجبا. Sufyan Thawri said, It's much better for me, much better for my heart, for my iman, that if I stayed the whole night sleeping, I didn't do tahajjud. Then in the morning when I go to pray Fajr, I feel shame. I feel embarrassed. How can I show myself to Allah? I regret. He said, this is for my deen, for my heart. is much, much better than to stay the whole night to hajjud. Then in the morning, I show off. I count it as a favor. You know, I did the hajjud. Oh Allah, I did the hajjud and I'm coming now to pray Fajr. Be careful. But in the same time, remember that Allah is Kareem. You made dua to Kareem, He will forgive you. Allah forgive all those who are in Hajj. Allah forgive even those who the Hujjaj made dua for them, intercede for them. Allah promised that forgive everyone. Allah is Kareem, Ghafoor. Who can do this? Show me any country, any bank will come one day all people, all those who are in debt, you are free. Who can do this? 
billions of pounds debt. Can any country, whatever country, said, okay, you know, all people who are owe us money, you are free. None. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, look at the millions and billions of people. And he said, of all of you, all of you, Allah can forgive all of them in one go. Because he's kareem. He can forgive billions and billions of sins. Full of the earth sins. If your sins as the, the, the numbers of the sands of Alij, as match the numbers of the days of the whole dunya since Allah created the dunya up to the day of judgment. If your sins up to the heaven, still Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive all of that. Allah is Ghafoor Rahim. But after you come back, you are in London. Be careful. As you said, Labbaik Allahumma Labbaik there. Allah is calling you here. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Hayya ala salah, Hayya ala al falah. Do you say Labbaik, Allahumma Labbaik? If you don't, that means Labbaik in Arafah there was not really sincere. If you do Labbaik here, if you hear the adhan, Labbaik, Allahumma Labbaik, that means you were sincere when you did say Labbaik there in Arafah in Mecca. If Allah asks you to read Quran, وَرَتِّلِ الْقُرْآنَ تَرْتِيلًا You said, لَبَّيْكَ اللَّهُمَّ لَبَّيْكَ And then Allah said, you are truthful. يَا أَيُّهَا الَّذِينَ أَمَنُوا اتَّقُوا اللَّهَ وَكُنُوا مَعَ الصَّادِقِينَ Fear Allah and be with those who are truthful. You said, لَبَّيْكَ اللَّهُمَّ لَبَّيْكَ Then you... When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala asks you to give charity, to read Quran, to be good to your parents, dutiful to your parents, to be good to your wife, to your children, to give da'wah, wherever you are, Give da'wah. Don't say people they don't listen to me. We didn't listen to Ibrahim alayhi salam, but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blessed this da'wah and we went there. Give your da'wah wherever you are, at your office, your company, your college, your university, wherever you are, give da'wah fi sabilillah. If they listen, if they don't listen, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will guide people who Allah blessed to listen to your da'wah, to be guided to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The next point is what? Many people earning rewards, but they are not really careful about their sins. Many people, they go to pray, they pray, but they don't know. They're losing lots of prayers. Why? Because they backbite someone. They unfair to someone, they harm someone, they insult someone, they assault someone. Be careful brothers and sisters. Sometimes we earn lots of rewards, but in the meantime we losing a lot. So if you do hisab, you find sometimes we are the loser. Let us look at this next session inshallah and focus how to be successful businessman because the tijara business between us and Allah it is the most successful tijara the best business but make sure that you are a successful businessman when you deal with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant all of us the goodness here in this dunya and the hereafter wa sallallahu wa sallam wa barak ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam والحمد لله رب العالمين والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وصحبه ومن اتبع هداه Dear brothers and sisters الحمد لله 
we finished now the day of Eid actions Alhamdulillah we shaved our head we take off the ihram we now in the normal clothes and we are going to Mina yes we shaved our head very quickly I remind the brothers shave your head don't tell me you're going to go to London and I'm going to be there in the office I'm a director I'm a manager I'm the boss how I want to be with the bolded hair bolded head and how can you be with the suit and the tie shave your head I'm sure you ask your wife your daughter your sister your mother to put on the hijab and said okay even if you are in London put on the hijab and may Allah bless all of our sisters beautiful they wear the hijab they don't care about what names they are called with and yourself still hesitate to shave your head please shave your head you don't know how much blessings and the Prophet asked Allah three times to forgive have the mercy with the, those who shave their head and only once for those who trim their head now we are in Mina we go back to Mina why again why we stay in Mina why I'm not in Mecca Mina because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive all your sins washed all your sins you are clean there is a big operation has been done to you big operation has been done to you the ulama said subhanallah why Arafah is out of haram they said maybe Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent them to Arafah to wash themselves to be clean then come back do taf al ifada sa'i Allahu Akbar you are now pure after this big operation you need to have they call it intensive care after any operation the doctors will leave you for an intensive care unit incubation to have a good time to recover to maintain this forgiveness Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala asks you to stay two or three days in Mina I'm clean I am among the beautiful pilgrims. I should now sit and train myself. Now in the future, how can I maintain this cleanliness? How can I maintain this purification? I'm pure now. I'm a newborn Muslim. How can I maintain this? Write down. What's my problem? Where is my weakness? Why I fall in the sin? Because of Shaitan. He is the one who is your enemy and he is jealous from you and he doesn't like you to be forgiven. He will start with you again. He never give up. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help you. What you do? Training sessions every day. You go to Jamarat, stone. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Seven, seven. Seven, twenty-one times. You don't throw all of them in one go. No. Training. You stone seven. Practicality here. You take out all the places of shaitan. The greed. The envy. The jealous. The love of dunya. All this, you took it out. Where is the weakness? From where shaitan come into my heart? make your heart strong why three places this is we follow the footstep of Ibrahim السلام, when he was about to slaughter his son I know it's meaningless to slaughter your son what's the benefit yes you don't need to do this Allah ask you to slaughter your negatives your bad characters you slaughter the weakness you slaughter the places of shaitan you put the knife and say Allahu Akbar smoking cigarette Allahu Akbar I will never backbiting Allahu Akbar the greed Allahu Akbar 
you slaughter, you try now, cut off all this training every day, seven, seven, seven times, Allahu Akbar. And you come after each one from the first, the small jamra and the middle, you come at the side. Oh Allah, I am now an enemy to shaitan. Oh Allah, I submit myself to you. Then you start to make dua, long dua, Allah will accept your dua. Why? Because already you show Allah your enmity to shaitan. But try to feel it. Try to put this in your heart. Not routine activities. Allah Akbar, Allah Akbar. No. Every time you say Allah Akbar and you remember something really negative I want to get rid of. Allah Akbar. And you do it with the yaqeen that Allah will help you because end of the day wallahi we can't be successful except with the help of Allah we repeat this every day several times because the only way to be a good obedience to seek help from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala you come to the side make long dua and this is for every day training you sit there don't chat that much talk nicely try to train yourself when i go back to london how my life will be dhikr istighfar when you talk you talk quietly you advise people give the da'wah don't get some very good friendship in Mecca in Mina, this is a time because when you come back to London, you have very good friends. These are the people who Allah blessed and they have the same blessings like you. Take very good friendship from these brothers. Get in touch with them in London at least weekly, monthly. Meet each other, help each other. Brother, how is your Hajj? How is your life? How you maintain the blessings, the forgiveness Allah blessed us with? This is the way, this is the wisdom behind staying in Mina incubation. You write, plan for your future. Oh, this is my problem. My business, there is haram. I have to finish it off. This is where shaitan come from. Finished off. Browsing, I think this is finished off. Plan, be serious. This is the way of benefit from Mina. The time after Hajj, you sit there and ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to accept your Hajj. Rabbana taqabbal minna innaka anta samir alim. Rabbana taqabbal minna innaka anta samir alim. And you pray and listen to the preaching there. The Imams will give you nasiha. And as I said, the main task is how to plan for my future so I don't want to go back because. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, وَلَوْ رُدُّوا لَعَادُوا لِمَا نُهُوا عَنْهُ Because the kuffar in the day of judgment to say, Oh Allah, please, 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 send us back to dunya, we will do much better. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, those people, if they go back to dunya, they will do the same. Don't do this. Promise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that you're going to be a changed person. Hassan al-Basri said that, if you want to, your hajj to be Perfect accepted Hajj, be different person. And you can't be like that unless you plan for yourself. Be frank with yourself. Allah knows the best. This is my weakness in my life. My wife, my children, my business. Where is and try to plan. Don't be harsh with them. Maybe next session we'll focus on this point. How to be a good Muslim after Hajj. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant all of us accepted Hajj, accepted Umrah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant all of us the forgiveness. Wa sallallahu wa sallam wa barak ala Muhammad. Walhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.